What's up, ship fam? What's up, YouTube? It is Tuesday. Well, it's Tuesday when you see in this. It's Monday for me when I hit the record button. But that means it is another episode of Grandpa's Farm, episode 8 on the old family farm map. What are we going to find out today? What are we going to get into? I have no idea. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. So I think if you remember back to episode seven, we had ended the video by cutting down some trees. We had three big piles of wood and we had a little pile of brush. So we're gonna go start taking care of that right now. That's the first step. And then I think we're probably gonna skip some months. I would like to at least skip through the winter and start to get some more seed in the ground. And I think, I think we should probably spray this field right in front of us. Uh, that way we're done with it. If we go and step on it, keep your eyes in the lower right hand corner. Uh, you'll notice that we are only 50% fertilized. So I think we should probably spray this uh, today. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go take care of this wood and then... Yeah, we're on to the next, we'll go, we're going to have to lease a sprayer, because I don't, don't have, I don't have a sprayer. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get this wood piled up. Come on. I guess, I guess it's going to stay like that. So we'll probably use this wood in the firewood production. And so that means we'll have some pallets of firewood we can sell in town. And that'll give us a little extra money to kind of live off of during the winter months. Um, now, it doesn't pay as much on this map as it does our struggle farm. Um, so we might have to make a couple trips. We'll see how many pallets of firewood we get out of these three trees or four trees. I forget how many we cut down, but uh, whatever it is, we'll take it. I think we'll have to pay somebody to come in here with something to get rid of these stumps because it's I don't we don't have anything so unfortunately um, that will have to wait till we can get a professional in here because a professional I am not you can tell by looking at these piles of wood they're all cut kind of misshaped mismatched it's pretty awful I, I left the tractor running again Man, if Grandpa was here, oh, he would not be a happy man. He'd have me shut it off, or he'd tell me, if you don't shut it off, you're going to pay for the fuel costs during the day. That man did not like to waste money, but he grew up in a time where you didn't waste money. Nobody was wasteful. Um, if, it was if it was broken, you fixed it. If you could make it last longer, you did. Nothing got thrown away. Nothing got wasted, and uh, I feel like sometimes we could all take a lesson and go back to that. We live in such a throwaway society. Everything's disposable. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit this the last one in there, but we're certainly going to try it. I'm actually going to come around this way, uh, and then we're going to drag some of these. Yeah, we did have four, four trees that we cut down. Um, and then we're going to grab some of those branches and we're just going to drag those all the way over. I thought I saw a little piece here. That's a stump. There it is. I can't see it. I'll have to stand on top of the tractor, see if I can see it after. No, I tried. They keep falling off, so we're going to go take care of this one first and, uh, we'll come back for the rest. I think I can get around the back side of these. Uh, I also believe we're going to sell that or we're going to move that uh, third 
marine house. We're gonna move that one over next to this one. Just we'll give it some space so we can get in there with tractors to load it. But I think uh, I think we're gonna we're not gonna get a lot of grapevines, but we're what we can we're gonna fit right right in there. We'll watch where I'm going now. All right, so we're gonna park right on the trailer, and like I said, we're gonna go up to the exclamation point. Get, I gotta think. Thank you, Skitty. And boom. There we go. Oh, it's not all in there. How should we? There we are. All right. So we got some firewood in production. Whoops. And uh, we should be all right. We must have piled two trees over here because there's a lot more wood in this pile than there was the first couple so we must have we must have put two wow that one fell off we must have put two trees in the same pile it's a lot of wood for one tree well that's all the chunks of wood now we got to come back for this brush i think I, it might just be easier to drag it over by hand uh, I think this is, we're gonna have a problem with this stuff. Stay with the the branches staying on the trailer. Try it, but I, I don't see it happening. Right, that's the last of the wood in the trailer. Let's take a look at this. I don't know if we have to turn it on. I, I might have deactivated it last time. Uh, wood. Let's see here. Uh, wood pile. Oops. That is it. All right, so let's go ahead and activate that. And we're good there. And there's nothing in there. So we're going to have to go put some in there as well. So, all right. I think we are. I think we're good. We've got a tangled mess of branches over here. But um, they're staying on the trailer. So we'll just do it this way. We're just killing time. Although I would, I would like to be able to sell some of these pallets, but I think we're going to have to wake up on November 5th. And then sell some pallets and grab a sprayer, a homemade sprayer. And uh, we'll give this wheat field or barley field. Can't remember which one it is. Give it a, a quick spray, and hopefully, hopefully the weather's nice enough on November 5th, and uh, that field will be done. Done, 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 until it's time to harvest. I've got quite the mess on the trailer, but I come from a long line of we can fit it all into one trip kind of people. So we're going to take it all in one trip. All right, let's see if it works this way. We got some of it. All right, it is, it's not even new. We got all the wood. Oh man, it, our, we already have pallets. Yeah, we already have pallets of firewood. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. We might not have to sleep. We might be able to get this all ready today. Get some pallets delivered. Pick up our sprayer while our our firewood is in production we're kind of waiting for it at this point there were some things i wanted to change and the first one was i moved this um greenhouse from over here and i also moved our road back to grandpa's secret place back there uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to paint a square of grass in here because that's going to be where our... I, I, I forget when we can plant them. You know what? While we're here, why don't we look at it? Our grapes. We can't plant the... We can... Yeah, we can add the grapes in March. So uh, we have until March, which is not that far away. We're... It's the last day of November. Tomorrow's the last day of November. So right now what I want to do is I want to paint a square of grass. Um, and that is where it's going to go. The problem is I feel like we're a little too close to these, but we'll figure it out. So why don't we go ahead and grab our 
Uh, we got to use this one first. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, we don't need much. Well, we might as well do it that. No. Oh, I did. I, we're getting way too close. We might have to move those. Yeah, you know what? We'll move those back. Uh, so we don't really need to get all that close. And uh, so this is where it'll be. This is, we, we don't need that many, right? We don't need that many at all. In fact, I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of that tree. I'll just go a little bit further back. And that'll, that'll be our... I'm going to have to landscape that out. So let me do that real quick. Let's go to the uh, sculpting and uh, flatten that out. Well, I moved... <laughs> made another mistake. I moved the greenhouses. They're easy to disassemble. It's just basically some poles and some plastic. Uh, but it left these, so we're gonna have to go grab the trailer, grab the forks, and load those up. I'm gonna grab the farm all for this, uh, cause we're just gonna put the forks on it. And the forks on this one go on the back. If you guys remember right, so... And then we'll hook up the trailer to the farm all, the other farm all. And we'll get all those loaded and sold. And then the trailer will also be ready. Where's that thing? I don't know where it is. Uh, there it is, right here. Um, and then the trailer will be ready for some pallets of firewood as well. So we'll be all set up. I think that's... Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go set this. Where are we? Oh, back there. Okay. So Grandpa's farm. This place is all full of all sorts of surprises. Now, the last time... Uh oh can I get in here? The last time we took some pallets, I had an awful time trying to get the pallets onto that old trailer, right? Because the sides. Um, so I was kind of looking around, looking at all the buildings, all the hiding spots, and in the cow barn of all places... Uh, there's a little flatbed back here. It looks like it was homemade, which is something Grandpa would do. He didn't want to waste money, and if he could... If he could build his own, he would. This kind of looks like something somebody made by cutting the back off a small truck, so... Let's hope this is just big enough to get some pallets on it. Now, hopefully I remember how to work this thing. I... I don't remember how to work the uh, lift, but we're going to try it. Oh, you know what? I think I've got to go... Yeah, I've got to go from the side, right? Yeah, because it's too wide else. And then if I lower it... Can I lower it? Yeah. Okay, okay. I got it. I think I know how to work this thing. That is not how you work it. Can I push it? I don't want to ruin it. Oh, there we go. Let me take a little bit. New plan. We're actually going to use this farm wall because the other one um, wasn't heavy enough. Every time I tried to pick the pallet up, it would... Pick the front wheels up, so we had to use this guy. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can set these on here. Man, I don't know how. I think it'll fit in front of the wheels. I don't know. We're pro we might not be able to take too many of these. Oh yeah, right in front. Plenty of room. Right? Plenty of room. What was I worried about? Minor adjustment, but there is pallet one. Thank goodness. What a pain in the butt. I didn't think this was going to take that long. Um, this might take the whole video now. I think if Grandpa's watching us, he is laughing. Um, because I kind of suck with the forklift. This one's weird, though. I've never done it this way. Like, the, the controls are different. Right? It's, it feels backwards. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, maybe we'll be done by tonight. We might be done by sundown. I don't know. It's not the straightest, but we got it. How come I can't get that one? Okay, there we go. Um, so there's that. The reason I left this is because we have a lot of honey up by the house, so I am going to load that before we get going. So let's head down there, we'll load some honey, and then we're off to town to make some money, to make some moolah. Speaking of moolah, I think we had a bunch of wood chips, though, because... We have like three grand more than what we started the day with. I don't know how we did it, but I'll take it. Look at all that honey. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to load three pallets at a time. Crazy? A little. <gasps> no. Oh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is uh, rather glitchy. <laughs> oh, no, we made a huge mess. All right, well, let's go grab the... Uh... Let's go grab the tra <laughs> trailer. Yeah, the honey is not that heavy, so we're going to go ahead and uh, load it ourselves. So I'm going to do it by hand. It won't take too long, but then we'll strap it down and... I think I can only fit a couple in here. Any? Whoa! Yeah, these are glitchy. If that's a odd issue or what? But the uh, the honey seems a little bit glitchy. So yes, there is a cell point on the map already for honey. I just hope this old tractor can make. That's a lot of weight. We've got two thousand one hundred and eighty-nine liters of honey. We have 1,500 liters of strawberries and 500 liters of tomatoes. So far, it's, we're handling it pretty good. So we are heading to the hay and beef shop. Hang on. I'm questioning myself. Hay barn seed and feed. So it's right down at the main the place we get our, our equipment. We might not need to sell firewood. I don't know what this is going to bring, but I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's a little bit. I think we get, what, $3,000? Oh, you know what? Pallets, I think, are right here. Yep, there we go. Look at all that. Ooh, we're gonna make some cash. This is great. These are selling a little bit slower. 13,000. Oh my god. Yeah. We're definitely gonna put. We're definitely gonna put our greenhouses back because that was good money. And the bees? 5,000 bucks. Okay. And we did nothing. We added a little bit of water. And uh, we did nothing for the honey. We just bought some bees. Wow, that's awesome. We, this might be a really good episode for cash. I'm gonna go ahead and stage the trailer back here. Now the uh, firewood pallets are a little bit heavier, so we're not gonna use this. To uh, bring it down there. So I'm gonna park this guy right back here. Might have to sleep for the night to uh, get some pallets out. I know where the extra money came from. I sold the greenhouses. We got to buy them back. I completely forgot about that. Uh, so greenhouses, we had these guys. All right, that's where the extra money came from. Okay, well, never mind. We did not have anything extra. That's a, I thought we had extra money. Oh, well. Uh, it's still cool. There, we'll put this one here. And we'll put this one there. Alright, so we got our greenhouses back. There we go. 
and all we have to do is paint i'm gonna i'm gonna paint in some grass here i don't know what it's going to do um when we add the uh when we add the vineyard um but this is where the vineyard will be very small we don't need much grandpa's oh i don't have any, enough money uh oh yeah so not good but we'll have to fill these up with water and definitely gonna have to sell some firewood so why don't we sleep we'll have firewood ready in the morning i'll we'll see you guys november 5th let's hope the weather's nice because we also have to get a sprayer so we can spray the barley field for the last time all right, it is noon. It's actually December 1st, so I thought it was going to be December, uh, November 5th. So we're actually, uh, we're actually in December. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pallets of wood. That truck or that trailer, not going to do the trick. So I think, I think I have a plan. Look familiar? I took out a $2,500 loan in order to lease this guy. Now, we do have a lease to buy option, which uh, we're probably going to use. But now we have an international lodestar for each. Uh, if we need pallets, we have the flatbed. If we need water or have to deliver milk, we have the tank. And now uh, we also have the grain. Uh, carrier. So now we have one of each, and uh, we don't have to mess around with those little tiny homemade trailers that, you know, Grandpa MacGyvered together. I respect them, but this is going to be a whole lot easier. Anyways, we'll introduce the uh, flatbed to his uh, siblings. There's the tanker, there's the crane, and now we have the flatbed. We got one heck of a matching farm. We might be in debt up to our eyeballs. But that's okay. Let's get these uh, pallets of wood loaded. Get them over to the cell point And um, we might skip through to March, December, January, February. Maybe. Maybe March. These are a pain in the butt to load. Absolute pain in the butt to load. I've never, like, you know, I, I thought I had thought I had some decent, some decent skills. No. No. My loading skills are, uh, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Let's see if we can bring it down just a little. Got to back it up just a little. Uh, this is <laughs> this is this is so silly. I think I got this palace stuff. I did get this palace stuff. Oh, there it goes. Now we just gotta tap it from the other side. It'll look like we did a good job. So we've got our last pallet, and uh, I think after this year, or perhaps the next harvest season, or the next time we come into any amount of money, um, I, I think we buy a new system because this way, of uh, picking up pallets. Oh, I don't know. It is uh, not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. I've got two more pallets to strap down and this load is ready to go. Let's go ahead and put this guy. I'm definitely going to put this guy away. Oh my God. This thing is... Uh, in the book. So let's go ahead and put this in the garage, hopefully for the last time ever. I don't know if I want to use this ever again. I'm so excited to see how much we get. I don't think I've had eight of these pallets before. 
at one time. I think we've had four, six maybe. That's a lot of firewood. I'll show you guys. Well, some of y'all know where uh, we put the cell point. But for those of you that are just tuning into Grandpa's Farm for the first time, I'll show you where the cell point for the firewood is. It kind of looks like we're going to our normal cell point. Um, but if we're not, we're going to drive right by. And we're going to cross this little brook or stream. And uh, we should be at the local hardware store, I think. So it's the Main Street General Store. And our cell point is right up here. Oh my, there's chickens. There's chickens everywhere. Everywhere. There's chickens. So all we gotta do is park on it and uh, these pallets will start to unload. Kind of magically. And until they do, you'll see, you know, 500 here, 600 there up in the corner. But look at how fast that money is moving. This is great. We just got to kind of move around a little bit. But it'll sell automatically. Look at all that. There's a lot going on in this town. There's noise and singing and music. There was an auctioneer. But uh, I believe that got taken out uh, by our good friend Cincy Farmer Modding. Uh, when he took all those bushes out, those blueberry, they blueberry bushes, blueberry hedges, something like that. But he got rid of all those and also the uh, auctioneer. So look at that. That is the most money we've had on Grandpa's farm since we took it, since we took it over. $30,408. Today was a good day. The three siblings together at last. They look happy, don't they? They look happy. I would be too if I found my long lost siblings after many, however long. Uh, let's go grab the tractor because we've got to go get the, we've got to go get the sprayer. It's a nice enough day. I know it's December, but it's a nice enough day. We might as well get this field sprayed uh, because I, I, I just think, um, well, we might as well. We might as well. It needs one more round of fertilizer, and we will be harvesting what? Uh, when do we harvest barley? Harvest barley in July. So we're going to be busy with grapes in March and April. So, yeah. And we also have to plant some corn in April. So I, I think we'll be... Uh, let's spray it. We'll get it out of the way. Might as well. So a thousand bucks later, and we have our our own, our very own homemade sprayer. You know what we should do while we're here? Yeah, so we don't have to, uh, so we don't have to come back. We should fill it up with fertilizer while we're here, I think. You know what? Let's just take it over there. I don't think I need to open it. I love how that tree went from green when we took over the farm to, you know, September, November, uh, September, October, November. It turned like this, this beautiful, uh, like the trees over there, that beautiful, like fiery orange and red. And now it's, it's lost its leaves. I love that when you have the seasons on in farm sim. I absolutely love that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get this field done. Watch out. Watch out, chicken. Oh, chickens are going to they're going to grow now. They just got hit with fertilizer. There's just something about this farm, right? This 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 grandpa's farm, old family farm. There's something there's something special about it. There's something that not only makes the the makes the map come alive, but it makes the it makes the story come alive. There's something really, really special. You know, we, we planted these seeds at the very beginning, and now they're starting to grow much, much like this barley field. It has just been really enjoyable, and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. That is all she wrote. Look how dark blue that is compared to this one, which has only had the single 
round of fertilizer. That's good. Uh, and we own the fertilizer. It's still got 1,676 liters in it. So we already have some for next time. Uh, whatever field that may be. So, I mean, we're looking really, really good. We're, we've got a really, really good head start on, uh, on next year already. After a really, really busy episode, one where we made a lot of money on my dad, we also leased another truck, so we have three now. Each has a specific job. Uh, we were able to purchase our own sprayer. We have enough fertilizer in that sprayer to do three or four more fields. After eight pallets of firewood, we even got rid of some trees. We got our staging area for the vineyard. Uh, we might have had to spend some money to move our greenhouses back, but oh my god, we got a lot done. Now, the next episode, episode 9, we're going to wake up in March or April. That's when we can start the work on the vineyard. We can start putting corn in the ground. I'm excited. Thank you all for uh, thank you all for tuning into this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, as always, do me a big favor. Hit the thumbs up on the video. It does two things. It lets me know you like the content and you want to see more of it. And it lets YouTube know that you think we're doing a good job over here on the channel. And if you've yet to join our journey, make sure you hit the sub button. We just hit 1,045 this morning. I really appreciate y'all joining me on this journey. Not just today, but every day. I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, look after one another, be kind to yourself, you deserve it. And much love, everybody, I'll see you soon.